there my lovelies, Miss Shadow Lovely here. Um, I know what you're thinking. What is that? You're probably not thinking that, let's be honest. If you're on this channel, you probably like one of two things. One, my face, or two, waifus. Which means that you probably either own one of these, or have seen one of these, or both. Anyway, uh, today's video is brought to you by AnimeDakamakuraPillow.com. Yeah, that's a real website. So buckle up, because we're gonna get into all sorts of fun waifu pillow shenanigans. Before we get started though, make sure you're following me on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages. That way you can stay up to date with all of my weeby nonsense. And memes. There's a lot of memes. So I feel like there's uh, not too much introduction that I could possibly do to this video that is going to make it make any more sense to anybody who isn't already familiar with the Dakimakura. Um, also, before I get a bunch of comments about me pronouncing it wrong, I have no idea how to pronounce it. I just looked it up. This is what Google said. So, I do know, however, that Dakimakura comes from the words Daki and Makura, uh, also probably completely mispronounced on my part, uh, meaning basically embrace and pillow. So, hugging pillow, basically. Uh, this is a great example of a Dakimakura. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing uh, mine that just came in the mail. Um, as you all know, I have a very soft spot in my heart for Monster Girls, which is why I got my bae here, Mero, from Monster Musume. Uh, some will argue that she is not best girl, but I will argue with a counterpoint that she was the only Monster Musume character that wasn't completely naked on one of the sides. And this is a kid show. Not really. Not really like a kid show. But you know, there are kids on the internet, and I'm pretty sure YouTube, though it has its lax restrictions, probably would not be fond of me showing an actual naked anime girl on my channel. Therefore, why I picked Mero. Um, Mero is not my favorite of the Monster Musume girls, but she was the only one that had a side that was not completely naked. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with that review so I can quit saying the words naked anime girl super loud at one o'clock in the morning for my neighbors to hear. So let's get started with this review. Uh, I really have no point of like reference for Dakimakura like quality um, because this is the first time I've ever seen one in person. Um, the only other time I've ever actually like seen one in person at a convention or anything, it was one that I think someone had custom made of Mia from Monster Musume and it was like 80 feet long. I'm not a Dakimakura uh, aficionado by any stretch of the imagination. This is my gateway Dakimakura. Um, so I actually made a kind of an interesting choice that's probably super frowned upon uh, in the Dakimakura community, which I understand is a very strong community. Um, and because she, please don't laugh at me, or please do, and if you do, laugh with me, not at me. Um, I chose because she is a mermaid to actually get a slightly shorter pillow than she is, than the pillowcase is long. Whoops, she's, she is fairly long. Um, and so I left some free space for the simple fact that she's a mermaid, so she has fins. And no, I didn't actually, like, it wasn't a mistake. I didn't buy the wrong size pillow. Like, I really did want that effect because Prepare yourself, children. There's some slight lewdness incoming. Because on the other side, I, like you can't see her fins on this side. Uh, you can only see her dress, which again is why I picked Marrow, because she is a classy lady uh, all around the board. Um, because on the other side, uh, <laughs> there's some lovely anime boobies. Uh, but this is where the side with her, her fins. And I wanted it to be more realistic. I didn't, I, I, my one misjudgment was I misjudged where her fins would be placed. So it did kind of backfire. This pillow is just kind of too small now because of my poor planning. Um, but that was the effect I was going for. You shouldn't do that if you're not stupid like me. You should buy a full size pillow for your pillowcase. Um, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Like I said, I was going for some kind of special mermaid effect because monster girls are my thing and it didn't completely translate well into, it was a great idea, but it didn't translate like well into action. Anyway, um, the first thing that I would like to point out is uh, the amazing, amazing quality of the printing um, of this Dakimakura. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of like experience seeing them up close, but this is like a super high definition image. Um, not to mention the fabric of this Dakimakura. It's like, it's super, it's, it's soft, but like soft in like a slippery way. So like silk, it might actually be silk. Uh, I don't know, cause I didn't check. 
Um, but it feels very like silky. Like I see why people <laughs> want to hug them because this is super like comfy and huggable and I love it and this is the first thing people see when they walk into my house now. Also, I would like to briefly uh, visit a few anatomy points here that are not necessarily part of my review. I would just like to bring them to your attention. The first one being her holding her, her titty like that. Uh, why? Also, notice how on the side where she's got the dress on, her titties are huge. Her, she's got, she got big, huge anime titties. Then on the other side where she's a little more lewd, um, her titties are a little bit smaller. So when they are uh, out of the dress, they are smaller for some reason. Uh, I would say it's because she doesn't have a bra on, on the dress picture. Uh, but who knows, it's just anime titty physics, I guess. Um, how many times can I say titty before either A, the police get called on me, because it's literally like 1.30 in the morning, or B, before YouTube just completely takes my channel off the internet. When I first took the promo shots for this video, um, in my mind, I'm like, remember, only post the picture of the non-lewd side to the internet so that you don't get flagged for being one of those naughty no-no channels. And then I took a picture of this side thinking that this was the non-lewd side. When in actuality I specifically bought this design for this side, which is very non-lewd and very conservative. Um, <laughs> so, a good planner I am not. Um, anyway, uh, some other good points about this. I'm going to leave the titty side out for right now. Um, <laughs> some other good points about this that I really like, uh, like I said, I really, really like the texture and the fabric. The vibrancy is, like, insane. Please ignore how, my crappy planning on how big the pillow is. Like, that's just all me. Will I get a bigger pillow? No, because like I said, I really had this great idea in my mind that she's a mermaid, so the tail thing is going to be great, and I'm going to make that work somehow. Um, so I'm not going to be getting a bigger pillow for this, because I really like this effect, and I'm going to make it work somehow, even if it's not in this video. Uh, but, first of all, I love the art style, uh, that's a huge thing, but the vibrancy of the colors, it really is like a high definition image, just like printed on the super amazing soft fabric. I've got a handful of titty right now. Uh, <laughs> and we'll make her, we'll give her some dignity for the time being. Uh, and it's got, a, it's got a great zipper on the bottom. It was super easy to get the pillow inside of, uh, which I, like I said, I have no point of reference as to what makes a good Dakamakura, but I feel like that is a, a good selling point. So anyway, uh, but the people at AnimeDakamakuraPillow.com were nice enough to give me my lovely waifu here uh, in exchange for a cool review. And also, they were also nice enough to give me some sweet discount codes so that you can get your own waifu on one of these pillows and snag one of these for yourselves. The discount code is in the description of this video, so please grab it and head on over to that website if you want to snag a waifu of your own. I know the holidays are over, but it's never too late to get a little gift for yourself. Uh, that's what that's what Marrow here was. Um, also, I would like to again point out that Marrow is not my favorite waifu, but she is the best that you can get on a body pillow. Also, I do love Mia. I also don't want a 20 foot long body pillow in my house, not for any reason that has to do with the body pillow itself, but because I am a very clumsy person and because I will likely end up dying and nobody wants to tell that story at my funeral. And by that, I mean everybody wants to tell that story at my funeral, and I don't want that to happen after I'm dead. So yeah, grab that discount code, head on over to AnimeDakamakuraPillow.com. Again, even though I keep saying it out loud, that doesn't sound like a real thing. It is, I promise. And grab yourself a waifu pillow. Uh, if you're gonna get a waifu pillow, this is a great place to get them from, um, because even though this is my first one and I have no point of reference as to whether or not it is the best, to me, it is the best. Um, and I love her, and I am, I, again, it's the first thing you see when you walk into my apartment. So I, I stand by my, by my Dakimakura. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this kind of content, and by this kind of content, I don't mean me molesting a pillow, uh, for like eight minutes. I mean like the waifu content, because I do make more of that, and I do make other anime and video game and Monster Girl themed anime. I already said anime. 
Yeah, I make that kind of content. So if you enjoy that kind of content, hang out here and hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. If there's a waifu that you would love to see on a Dakimakura or you have a dream Dakimakura, leave it in the comment section below so that we can help fantasize about fictional women together. That's all I've got for you today. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me while I hold this human-sized pillow for about 20 minutes. The great news is, even though I'm super sweaty because of all the set lights, she's perfectly fine, which is another plus. I know a lot of you probably don't wear makeup, but I've been rubbing my face all over this thing for like the last 45 minutes, and no makeup is transferred from my face to this pillow. So that, I feel like, is another good selling point. And on that last selling point, I'm gonna go ahead and go. So thank you for hanging out with me, and have a lovely day. Say bye, Mero! Bye, everybody! Have a lovely day! That's, that's a titty. That's not what I was trying to do. Have a lovely day! I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit her face eventually.